right, so there's um, a couple of things we can use these log rules for. Um, right off the bat, they're sometimes used when you want to write single logs. Okay, so what do I mean by that? Um, suppose we had this expression. What we want to find is, can this be written as a single logarithm rather than two combined? Well, it can if we, um, if we think about it right. So, I mean, effectively, I want my answer down here to be log of some number. So is there a way that I can combine these? Um, well, right off the bat, these numbers are kind of annoying, right? So is there any way I can move them? Well, if you remember the log rule from the previous video, all we have to do is log of 5 squared, right? We can bring that 2 up there using that log rule, the product log rule, I guess. Similarly, this would be log of 2 cubed. All right, and now what can we do? Well, this is a sum of two logs. So the sum of two logs is going to be the log of their product. And the log of their product, well, this is 25 times 8, right? Which is going to be log of 200. And that is kind of how you would write um, single a single log out of a log expression. Okay, suppose we wanted to go backwards, right? Um, suppose that, let's go over here. We have an expression like log of a divided by b cubed or something like that. And we want to express that um, as simple logarithms expanded out. So we're going to expand that out. Um, again, we apply our log rules. So that's log of a. We know that the division sign means a minus. Okay, and we're nearly done. Now you just need to bring the 3 down. So it's just going backwards from what we just did makes a lot of sense okay um, let's do one more of those so slightly harder expression what about log of a divided by square root of b well that's again going to be log of a minus log of root b all right well what's the square root of b well if you remember from indices um, then the square root of b can be actually written as an indice. So remember what that indice is. I'm going to pause the video and take a guess at what this indice is going to be. Okay, this indice is 1 half. Okay, so if we write the square root as b to the power of 1 half, what we can do now is, again, take that indice down just like before. Half log b. And we're done.